Hello everyone, welcome to this session on W with me Abidhanisa Begum and today we're going to learn something called about something called as calculated fields, right? So we have created a good number of graphs by now. We all know how these graphs are created. Now let's just try to understand what are these calculated fields. There are certain things that we need to understand here. First is calculated fields while we are creating our visualizations or our dashboards then you also have certain filters that you should know how to apply you should know how to add colors to your graphs and several other things that these are important for you to create your dashboards and everything right so the first thing that we are going to learn today is creating calculated fields and for this i'm going to use one data that is called as office supplies now what is this office supplies data give me so here there is a company and they want to give uh, bonuses to their employees, right? Because this is the end of the financial year and they want to give uh, bonuses to their employees. Now to calculate the bonuses of their employees, they want a report of their performances, right? So this is our problem statement and we are going to solve this using our office supplies data. So this is my office supplies data. It's a CSV file. So I'll upload it in text file. So I just open it and here you can see all of these, right? So let me just go to the sheet. These are all the data sets. So you have the order date, you have the region from which these, and yeah, another very important thing is we have three regions here. So we have to select three representatives. That means one representative from each region to be given this bonus, right? So let's just go to our worksheet and see how do we do that. Now, I'm sure you all are pretty much familiar by now with these show me and all the, the complete W environment, right? So yeah, now we can just work on it. So the best way to see it, to see, you know, the region and then the unit sold, right? This is what we can see. Now, suppose if we take these units and we put it into columns, we get this bar chart, right? All right, so this is how we get. But now, what else do I want? So these are the regions where the sales have happened. Central region did most number of sales. This is the east, this is the west, and they have done most number of sales. Now, what do I want is, I want to see the representatives who did most number of sales. Okay, so now I'll just turn it like this, right? So now you can see, I have given the representatives names, and here you can see in each region. So out of the, all the regions, Richard has done most number of sales. Now remember, this is units sold. This is not the sales price or anything. These are the units sold. So you can see that this person, Richard, has done most number of sales. He's from the East region. He did not even top in the, not just top in the East region. He topped in all the other regions as well. So, but since we will be giving, we will be considering James, Richard, and Alex based on this data. But do you think it is fair to, you know, give, uh, what do you say, based on the units that are sold? No, right? You cannot give this based on units sold. So what if that particular thing that this person has sold is just of $1 and he has sold 396 pieces of that and he just sold, given the sale of $396. What about the others? Suppose they have done, this person has done 170 sales, but that particular thing is of ten dollars that would definitely then definitely this person should be getting the bonus right so for that what we'll have to do we'll have to multiply the unit price with the unit so how many items are sold multiplied by the price so we will have the sales prices that the person has done but then there is no such uh, option here right so what do you do you right click here and you will create a calculated field. You want to create a calculated field here in the measures. That is where calculated field comes into picture. Right? I'll just name it as sales price. So unit price multiplied by units. Right. So you can see this field is created now sales price. So here that you can see this equal to signature. 
so equal to sign that means this is a calculated field so let me just double click on it and i'll probably place it before this uh oh i really do not need these now right so now you can see the complete picture is changed now richard is not the one who has done the most number of sales uh, you know the sales price right so susan is the one like i told you now you have some others as well you have matthew you have alex they are all in the race all right so here you can see that james is still the topper so you you can see the people they have changed all those to whom we have to provide these bonuses you have james you have susan and you have matthew right now you can do all that you want to do now you can probably add colors adding colors and you know giving different things we'll see in our next video uh you know probably to modify these and all that but for now i hope you have understood how to create this calculated field and i hope you also know how to probably uh you know work on a problem statement we worked on a real problem statement now let me just revise you the problem statement it was that we wanted to find we wanted to give bonuses to our employees the top 3 employees now those top 3 employees are not from one region they are from three region so we had to select one employee from each region right and based on the sales they have done we did not have this sales price in our uh data set already right we had units price and we had units but we wanted to know how much of how much total sales were done so the, you can just name it anything i named it sales price you can just tell me that it is uh, you know total sales right and based on this is what you can actually give these bonuses so what did you do you created a calculated field by multiplying unit price with units So what else you can do? You can arrange it in descending order by clicking over here. So now you can see. Now this looks much better, right? Now again, adding colors, giving name to the sheet, sheet name. What could we do? Bonus. Or top performing employees. make sure that you are creating the visualizations in such a way that people who look at it are able to understand what we have done right we could probably put it in a label here so you can see here without even without this tool tip at all okay so this is the tool tip that comes this thing that you are able to see here which gives the region representative and sales price and everything that is your tool tip right so now we have all the values over here now what else can you do you can probably add colors as well let's see what can we do here right now this looks much better right uh, this is how it would go and you can also edit colors based on what color you want if you do not want this we can actually change it to any other color of our choice now about these colors and everything we'll learn in the coming videos but just for our understanding i was just showing you you can choose any other video as well any other color as well mm -hmm. maybe we'll do it this way right it based upon your choice okay so yep this is how it was we created a calculated field we created a visualization we created a meaningful visualization right so all right everybody i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning